Alright guys, I got a solid little 2x2 two two upgraded design for you. When you start building the 2x2, two two, you want to make sure you have extra space on each side to do an extra foundation. Make sure your door is on the inside, like this side. That'll be important for the upgrade later. Now we're just going to stone it out. We will be upgrading this all to sheet metal and high quality later though. And then you're going to want your TC in the opposite corner of your door. Doors here. And then at some point, once you get a drop box, you're going to put a wall here. Make sure you put a sleeping bag in there before. I, you can fit about two, I think maybe a third sleeping bag in there, but you can fit two sleeping bags in there for sure. That's going to be your suicide TC, so you push through any of your mats for the TC into there. You can also sometimes fit a couple small boxes in there. Sometimes I've put my tier 3 in there, uh, but usually when they raid they can't get to the, to the TC because we're going to end up armoring all this. Um, most of the time people go through all the doors and end up not taking out the TC, which ends up leaving the, the tier 3 here usually, unless they, they take the time to break the tier 3. It's a pretty good design in that sense, because you get to keep your base. <laughs> I'm just going to leave a uh, TC open for now, but once you guys get a drop box, put one up in this corner and one up in this, in like the center, and then we'll put our tier 3 there. Oops. Now comes to the upgrade. So usually I start with that 2x2 two two for a while, and then once I'm ready to upgrade, it usually takes about two rows of stone to do this next expansion. So I usually do a little, a little PvP in, get a little stone. ready for the upgrade. <clears throat> okay, so since our door is on this side, we are going to want our front entrance over on this side. Okay, and to do our front entrance, we're going to have to do a foundation and a roof. The roof's a little tricky to place. You're going to want to get on like this corner and look that way. Bills. 
server. <laughs> Can't get in. <laughs> I don't have a belt, uh, single door on me right now, so I'm just gonna do that for now. Just to get that guy out of my hair. So you're, you're not going to want to do a wall right here. I just did that for the time being while well, that guy is uh, snooping. I just have a lot of mats on me. Actually, we'll upgrade that later, but we'll just do stone now as I normally do in game. And then once I get enough metal, I begin upgrading. This is where front end is going to be. Sweet. Okay, let's finish up. The this one, this side is going to be a extra loot room, and this side is just we're just going to honeycomb this. One. have the metal um, you can wait till later and wait till later in the video and I'll show you what we'll be upgrading straight up to metal and to high qual but for now I'll just do the uh, stone as I usually do. Alright this one's going to be our extra loot room but you're going to want to honeycomb right there because uh, it'll protect your loot room your main loot room Until the 
loot room is pretty simple. At the end of the video, I'll uh, do some of the base designs on the inside if anyone cares to click around to see where you can place them. So you can fit four large chests all up in here, and you do a furnace for the jump up. Okay. I usually just go this one straight to metal even when I'm just stoning out most things. And then all these double door spots, you're going to want to put garage doors. I will put some double doors on in a second for now, but... Grab some more doors. She's coming together nicely. We just gotta throw a pancake on top. And that's the final form of the outer. And then we can start working our way on the upgrades on the inside. Make sure your front door opens like that. This is your little airlock. You can put a, a shotgun trap right here, but if you put a shotgun trap there, make sure when you open the door you wait back for a second if, in case you have a friendly little door camper waiting here. Here, I'm going to go ahead and do the outer pancake. Pancake is pretty expensive since half walls do cost the same amount as full walls. Usually it takes like a say like a row and a half of stone to do this. I mean, if, if you're really rich on the stone, you can, uh, you can add half walls right here too, but that's, that's a little extra. It's pretty stone intensive. For pancakes. But this pancake layer is very necessary because it adds one more layer of protection. base design. There's certain base designs where I skip on pancake layer. Oh, I'm on a stone. One sec, one sec. See, it's uh, a little stone intensive for the pancake, but once you get it, it'll be well worth. The best part about the pancake is once you get that first shell, uh, you can take your time a little bit on 
getting that pancake down. Got the homie checking out the base. Guys dropping me stuff, I don't have room for it. up the inside a little bit now that we finished that pancake. Oh, that is. So any of these spots that I throw a double door, you're going to want to put a garage door eventually. But for the first like day or two, uh, the double doors will work. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to make a video here. Oh my god! Hold on, I gotta leave my party. Hello? What's up, bro? Yo, I'm trying to make a video over here, man. I'm, make, I'm making a video. Can a I, video? Yeah, yeah, a base design video. Can I, I'll, I'll talk with you in a minute. Oh, hold on, what's your YouTube tag though? Uh, it's Dolanator3, it's the same as my username here. Hmm, I think I've seen a video of yours one time. Heck yeah. Alright man, well, I'm gonna finish up this video, I'll, I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright, I'll talk with you in a second. Alright. <laughs> Alright, anyways guys. Funny, see more in the vids. <laughs> Alright, so, yep, you can put garage doors in all those double door spots. the fun part we can start upgrading <clears throat> oh no it's not gonna let me dem dem demo all demolition that <laughs> it's fine whatever um but yeah you're gonna want to uh, have a wall there so let's actually take this off for a second so i can get in there And if you have a lot of high qual, you can uh, high qual out this uh, loot room too. I normally just metal it though, most of the time. I normally just metal the floor, but I high qual all four loot tiles. So if they're coming from the top, they don't know exactly where TC is. Metal on all these. You're going to want to 
try to get a uh, armored single door for right there. I also try to get one for right here. This is going to be a little shotgun trap place. For me. Except I can't demolish that because I took too long. We're on the boat server. It doesn't let you like break things. There might be a way around it. I just I haven't played too much in this. Uh, you can put beds in here. Not mean to do that armor, whatever. And then once you do get garage doors on here, you can uh, upgrade these all to metal. Uh, does help a little sometimes if they're blowing into multiple little doors on the corner. Didn't need to armor that, but it's fine. But we're looking about done. Uh, now we can just start throwing in uh, furnishings. So I normally put the uh, tier three right there with two furnaces. Usually face the furnaces that way. So get a little warmth in the building. Boom. You're gonna want to put two drop box there. I can, I could go pick some up, but meh. This is your loot room. You can put a uh, large box, large box, small box. I do a barbecue and a small box on each of these sides, and then the same down below. Mm -hmm. Why are these guys just like hanging out? Like the the base, I guess. <laughs> I did say I would uh, talk to him after, so I guess that is probably why. Beautiful.